Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron6466 here from NXT Zombie Tactics, and I am uh, back right now for part number six of Shangri La gameplay. And now, keep in mind that this was the very first day this map came out, so the, the round I got to, I've gotten much higher since then. The round that I've gotten to, I was like, yes, yo, yo, so high, yo, man, you got so high. Yeah, so I was like, I thought it was really good, you know, it's a lot has changed since then. It's actually not that bad for a lot of people, so here we are, round 17, I just got the teddy bear. I have the ray gun and the shrink ray, pretty good setup, um, you know, I haven't been able to repeat, you know, that setup since this game, and I actually have gotten monkeys since this game, I know, because I tried like 30,000 times for monkeys and I just can't get them, but I do eventually get monkeys, which actually happened today, and it is July 12th, so, like a thousand days later, I actually get monkeys, which is really, really awesome, I was like, yes, I finally got monkey bombs, I got to use them in Shangri-La, I was like, hell yes, the second I got one, I tossed one, actually, I'm like, yes, I tossed the monkey at Shangri-La. Now, actually, I've been getting a lot of messages about this uh, billionaire's challenge. I'm like, what the hell is billionaire's challenge? Cause I'm like, why the uh, why? I don't. I didn't really care too much about it, and I was getting a lot of messages about it, which kind of what I want to talk about today. And uh, you know, the messages were like, yo, man, what do you think about it? Well, what, what, what do you think? I'm like, think about what? What is this billionaire's challenge? And then I started doing a little research, and I got a call from KG Birdman 511. KG Birdman 511 is half black, and he's all like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with Xjaws? I'm like, nothing. Xjaws is sick, man. He's an awesome commentator. I love his videos. And he's like, nah, man. Xjaws is a bitch. I'm like, why? And he's like, uh, and he explained the whole story, you know, what happened uh, apparently in this live stream and how inappropriate it was for a lot of younger kids, like, you know, younger, younger, who were, uh, wouldn't understand some stuff like uh, how Aki David pulled out a vibrator and started playing around with it. You know, I thought that was kind of funny, but I guess it is really, really, really inappropriate, obviously. No, yeah, look at the signs in German. And this is like a Tibetan map. I actually don't know what kind of map it is, whatever. So yeah, and inappropriate stuff. So I'm just like, what? He's so uh, that's not cool, man. And he's like, well, oh, I just said whatever. Who the fuck cares? He pulled out a vibrator. What did he fucking do? And he's like, nah, man. And then X Jaws is a bitch. I'm like, why is X Jaws a bitch, man? He's like, cause, man. And then he just kept on going on and on. I'm like, just get to the damn point, right, KG? And he's like, all right, fine, yo. He dropped the fucking N bomb. I'm like, who the hell calls it the N bomb? And he's like, okay, whatever. You dropped the fucking N word, man. I'm like, that's not fucking cool, man. So I'm like, oh, dude, that's not cool at all. He's like, yo, you better go unsubscribe. So I just unsubscribe from him, you know. I I mean, I guess if you're black, you can take it personally, but that's not cool. That's a derogatory term that you said in the live stream. That's really not cool, and I mean, like, come on, man. I, I love your videos. I love your style of gameplay, and I love watching them all the time. Man, I gotta stop trying. And I love all your freaking gameplays, man. So just, I'm sure you'll say sorry. I'm sure you didn't mean it, and apparently you meant it uh, in, like, a friendly way like me and KG we joke around with that all the time and he doesn't really care when I say it to him but I never say it to someone in a racist way and I don't think he did say it in a racist way I'm not sure about that to tell you guys the truth so don't hold me on that I'm not sure he might have said it in a racist way I'm not sure uh, I'm actually asking you guys did he say it in a racist way or did he not I, I really want to know uh, and I ended up watching Woody's video you know guys well, I'm sure most of you know Woody's gamer tag he's actually my favorite commentator <laughs> of all time Woody right there he's my favorite freaking commentator I love his videos he's awesome Woody and Syndicate are my favorite commentators and uh, I ended up watching this video about how he's dropping out of this billionaires challenge <laughs> which I just found about found out about today so uh, I'm kinda a little bit behind schedule here and uh, I found out he dropped out and I thought you know what yeah Woody's sick I don't care if he dropped out Woody's just awesome I love watching each and every one of his videos and you know what? I just can't I can I can picture him something like a billionaire's challenge because he, he he like makes videos for a lot younger audience for like uh you know ages like 13 to 20 it's probably his main you know like main area of like people that he works with for sure like that's his main demographic I'm pretty sure because he he does get a lot of kids that watch his videos and I and I like why I've been watching his videos since he started I remember the I actually watched the video when he made his very first intro I remember watching it, it was like a, it was like a blue and white intro and I remember watching I'm like oh this guy's pretty good I'm like oh, I thought he was really shit the intro like what the hell is this thing man right this was a couple of years ago 
And then eventually, you know, his channel started growing. I remember watching his uh, Mon Refer 2 videos, and he, and he kept on growing about how he's in. How he kept on pointing out how he was in, like an unexceptional gamer, and you know, was playing for fun. And I like respected that. And, you know, I respect him for dropping out of the challenge. And you know, that's a good thing to do. X Josh should do that too. For he said, you know, it's a dick thing to do. But whatever. He, I don't know if he met, met it in a friendly way, and I really don't know what happened exactly. So don't hold me to it. I'm just kind of getting KG Birdman's point on this. I should have let. I should have made him do the commentary for this part. That would be pretty awesome, actually. Have him do the commentary. Now, um, during this game, I'm just going to cut that part, I'll, I'll get back to it in a minute. During this game, uh, you may have noticed that we are freaking going for every drop there is, including Carpenter, because when I started playing, this is my second, third, maybe even fourth game, and I don't, I highly doubt fourth. So I was like, shit, yo, the monkeys, when they take it, it changes in like, in, in like a second, but that's not true, it changes like in like three seconds, you got a good three seconds to go with it. And, Rakeep, with me here, I did not know you could shrink the napalm zombie. And I did not know you could walk up to him and make him explode like that until around now. And then I realized, shit, I can do that. And they're just like, yeah, man, we can do that. So uh, don't hold me to that stuff. This is the first day. And I know it's been a while since I've been posting this. And, you know, I took a, like a one-week break. But it's back. I'm posting it. And me and FMJ, we're going to do a dual comm coming up really soon. And me and Nino are going to do a dual comm coming up really soon. Nino's an exceptional Zombies player, and uh, definitely expect something great coming from his channel, for sure. And uh, you know what, you guys should be seeing this tomorrow, afternoonish, definitely, for sure. Uh, definitely subscribe, check it out, continue. Oh, for some reason, my computer is saying it's near the end. That's why I'm, like, kind of finishing it all up. No, like, what the hell? My computer is so messed. Right, guys, I'm, apparently I have, like, three more minutes to talk, so... Uh, Let's continue talking. Nuke here. Then I realized, alright, I need max ammo. Let's let the monkeys take it. This was the very first time I did this. I'm like, alright, I'll follow him. Fire sale. New, uh, carpenter, double points, insta kill. Max ammo. And it freaking works. So I was like, holy shit, we gotta do this every time. We can get a max ammo every time we get like a carpenter or a fire sale or something we really don't need. And you know, round 18, you know, considering the fact that I wasted so much time in between, and it was only me, like the other guys were not trying, it was only me trying at the box over and over and over for monkey bombs and they just were not coming at all yeah I really like the shrink rates it's, it, it kinda reminds me a lot of the Wonder Wolf, and I don't know why cause it's nothing like it obviously it looks nothing like it kinda looks I don't know it, it just feels like the Wonder Wolf to me that's all I can say it feels like the Wonder Wolf. and here we go the continuous uh, trying of the box continues which is kind of a big freaking waste of time HK21 not worth it and it's a big waste of time so um <laughs> Now that I've kind of broken into the one hour part of this video, it's been an entire hour now and uh, two more minutes to go talking, and I just want to finish up with the whole billionaire challenge thing. Now, X Jaws, um, love his videos, it's not going to stop me from watching them, but really man, to tell you the truth, that's really not cool. I would never say that in my videos, especially as like a racial, like, just trying to put someone down in that way, you know, that's really, really, really not cool, and I don't know if you did it in that way, or if you didn't mean it in that way, I really don't know, and, uh, you know, I'm probably not going to find out, unless, that's why I want you subscribers in the comment section below, tell me what happened, because I'm, I'm not, I'm too lazy to go watch a bunch of videos and find out, because all the videos I'm seeing are them, are like, people blaming X Jaws, and I don't know if that's what really happened, you gotta, you gotta view a story from both sides before you start bitching, you know, you can't just start, if you, like, uh, I guess there is really no two sides to what he said, but I'm sure it could be taken in another way, and I'm sure he really didn't mean it, because, you know, he's a big-name commentator, and I'm sure he would not say something like that, so let's definitely wait and see what he says, and you guys tell me, what do you think? Like, I, I don't know. You tell me. That's what I want to know more than anything else. You guys tell me, and anyways, guys, this commentary is coming down to its final, you know, minute here, and uh, I just want to say... Um, I'm close to 3,000 subs, or our channel is close to 3,000 subs, and you know what, that's awesome. I want to thank each and every one of you, I love all you guys, and you know what, <sighs> you know what, subscribers comes down to the subscribers, not the number of subscribers. So you people are awesome, I owe a fucking huge gratitude to you guys, and the second I get three, or we get, I keep saying I for some reason, the second we get 3,000 subs, guess what? Have you guessed yet? Have you guessed yet? We'll be holding an open lobby for Shangri-La when it comes out on the PS3. Uh, 
Uh, I'll be doing the PS3, and King Clutch will be back by then, and he will be doing Xbox uh, open lobbies. So we'll be doing open lobbies on the PS3, and I think FMJ might partake in it. I don't know, so I've got to talk to him about it. So definitely hold on for, and, you know, hold your breath for this upcoming epic uh, freaking um, open lobby that will be coming. Because, you know, I did post a comment, and a lot of you guys were like, what the hell, man? You never play with us anymore. You know, you never go online anymore. It's because every day I'm rendering a video, trying to put something together, trying to edit it. And, you know, it gets kind of tiring. I do it to the best of my ability. And, you know what, guys? And I do do my best. All right. Aaron6466 here from NXT Zombie Tactics uh, saying peace out. And... Keep your eyes open for the open lobby coming very soon. All right, peace.